Let's see how we can create a wood material inside Blender in a complete procedural way. Add a plane to the scene first and then go to the shading workspace. Scale it up a bit. Change the previous studio light based on your requirement. I am selecting this one. Now because I have changed the scale of our plane object, I am pressing Ctrl A and applying that scale. Click on new to create a new material. Give a name to the material. Now add a noise texture. and duplicate the noise texture. From the version 4.1, the Musgrave texture is no longer available inside Blender. So we are going to use this noise texture as Musgrave texture by tweaking a little bit of settings. Change the roughness of this noise texture to 2.5 and detail to 1. A control shift and left click on the first noise texture to connect it directly to the material output so that we can check how the noise texture is working. But for this shortcut to work, we need to enable a default Blender add-on called Node Wrangler. Go to the Edit menu, Preferences, Add-ons and search for the Node Wrangler add-on and enable it. Now connect the second noise texture factor output to the first noise texture vector input. Let's change some settings here, reduce the scale, increase the detail to something like 18, increase the roughness, increase the distortion value. Now press Ctrl T and left click on the noise texture to get these mapping and texture coordinate nodes. Here connect the object to the vector of the mapping node. Let's add the principled BSDF to our node setup. Add a color ramp and place it here. Now let's change the color of the color ramp to match the wood color. Move this first color to the right and second color to a bit left side. Now let's give it a wood color. You can copy the hex value to use the exact same color that I have used here. Change the second color to black. Now in the mapping node, increase the scale Y value and decrease the scale X value. Tweak the scale of the noise texture until you get the desired look. This wood material looks flat, so we need to add some bump to it. Before that, I am also increasing the subsurface value to 0.4. Add a bump node. Connect the factor value to the height of the bump node and the bump's normal output to the normal input of the BSDF node. As you can see, the bump is way too high, so reduce it to 0.1. We now need to add a little bit of reflections to it. What I am going to do is instead of just tweaking the roughness value, I am going to duplicate this color ramp node and click on the arrow and reset the values. Now let's connect this factor to the color ramp and color of this color ramp to the roughness input. To check exactly how this is working, I am pressing Ctrl Shift and left click on the color ramp to directly connect it to the material output. 
the white part here represents the roughness and the black part represents the reflectiveness. I'm tweaking the colors here for some reflectiveness. Now if I control shift and left click on the BSDF node, this is how it looks. Feel free to adjust the values to get the desired output. Change the scale value, the color, etc. You can add any object to the scene and drag this material onto it to apply the same material. Since the texture coordinates are changed to object instead of generated, this material works for any object now. You can take a screenshot of this node setup.